And good morning, grade 4 learners! Welcome to Valenzuela Live Science Forum. I am teacher Marjorie Al Fernandez of my son elementary school, our science teacher for today. Are you ready for today's side venture? Our objective for today's lesson based on the most essential learning competency is Describe how heat is transferred in solid materials. But before we start our lesson, let me give you a few reminders to observe during our FB Live discussion. Upon coming to our live session, you need to comment present plus your full name and the name of your respective school. This is to acknowledge your attendance for today. Second, if you have questions, clarifications, and comments, please feel free to write it down in the comment section. But remember to be polite and avoid unnecessary comments. Lastly, don't forget to bring out your pen and paper so you could jot down some notes. And now it is already clear to you, let us start our lesson with a science song. Did you enjoy the song? I am glad that you enjoy our science theme song. It describes the necessary skills you need to have for our today's lesson. How are you feeling today? Are you feeling great? Are you feeling sick? Please comment below if you are feeling healthy or not feeling well today. Always remember to eat healthy foods, take care of vitamins, and exercise regularly to keep you healthy and fit. Our science trivia for today is, did you know that heat energy can be transferred to solid objects? Heat can be transferred easily to metal objects and then any other solid materials. Metals are known as good conductors of heat and electricity. It is a good conductor of heat because of the fast-moving free electrons present on metal objects. Let us familiarize the different words you will encounter for today's lesson by answering our word search puzzle game. Observe the given word search puzzle. Search for the five science terms that you will see on the given puzzle. Connect the letters to form a word. Then, comment on your answers below. Are you ready? The timer starts now. Let us check if you found the five words on a given word search box. The answers are heat, solid, conductors, insulators, and conduction. If you got all the correct answers, you are amazing. Remember those words as we go along with our lesson for today. What are these objects? Very good. These are pan and stove. When do we use pan and stove? That's right. We use pan and stove in cooking food. What do you think might happen to the pan placed on the open stove and left for a few minutes? Great. It will become hot. But why do you think the pan becomes hot? How does heat travel to solid up? Heat is a form of energy associated with the motion of particles and capable of being transmitted through sun. Let's say for example you have a pot full of water and a stove. Remember that the stove produces fire. 
The heat coming from the stove travels to the pot. After a few minutes, the pot becomes hot. Because of the heat energy that was transferred to the pot, the water starts to boil. That process is called heat transfer. One of the types of heat transfer is conduction. It happens when the heat transferred through solid materials by direct contact. The direction of the heat transfer is from hot object to a colder one. As heat moves, its energy is also transferred, thus producing heat in the other body. We all know that all forms of matter are made up of tiny particles called molecules. When a material is heated, these molecules will vibrate faster. If the molecules absorb more heat, they will vibrate faster that makes the temperature become high. When a fast-moving molecule strikes an object, some of its energy is transferred to the other molecules. Generally, heat may be gained or lost. There are three types of spoon on a mop. These are a metal spoon, plastic spoon, and a wooden spoon with a pinch of butter placed on the spoon's handle. Which among these spoons do you think will heat transfer faster when hot water will be poured on it? Please comment on your answers below. Let us find out if your answer is correct. If your answer is a metal spoon, you are intelligent. The heat transfer faster in a metal spoon than in a plastic spoon and wooden spoon. As proof, the butter on the tip of the metal spoon's handle melts quicker than the butter placed on the plastic spoon and wooden spoon's handle. The experiment also shows that a metal spoon is a good good factor of heat. Therefore, a metal spoon and all other metal objects are good conductors of heat, which are called conductors. That is also the reason why we use metals as cooking utensils, because heat moves faster through the metal fan to the food. The plastic spoon and wooden spoon are called insulators. Insulators are solid objects where heat travels slowly or not at all, such as wood, plastic, cloth, and ceramics. Let us check how you understand our lesson for today. You have five seconds to observe each given picture. Identify if heat can travel on this object or not. Type I if it is an example of an insulator and C if it is a conductor. Put your answer in the comment section below. Are you ready? The timer starts now. If your answer is C, you are correct. Tongs were made of metal. Therefore, tongs are classified as conductors. If your answer is I, you are amazing. 
The food container was made of plastic. Heat can travel slowly to plastic objects. Therefore, it can be classified as insulated. If your answer is I, you are correct. These cups were made of polystyrene, and polystyrene foams are used for thermal insulation such as disposable cups, coolers, and others, where heat energy can flow through them. Therefore, styrofoam cups are classified as insulated. If your answer is C, you are fantastic. The kettle was made out of metal. Metals are good conductor of heat. Therefore, the kettle is classified as conductors. If your answer is I, you are intelligent. The chopsticks were made out of wood. Heat travels very slowly on wood objects. Therefore, wooden chopsticks are insulated. Good job, kids! Let's find out how much you have learned. Comment fact if the statement about heat transfer is correct and block if not. You have 5 seconds to answer each given item. Are you ready? The timer starts now. The direction of heat travels from a cold object to a hotter. is fat. All solid objects are good conductors of heat. The answer is block. Not all solid objects are good conductors of heat. Conductors are materials that heat can flow easily while insulators are materials where heat can flow slowly or not at all. The answer is fat. Good job, learners! If you have questions with regards to our lesson for today, just comment below. There is a question coming from the comment section, and the question is, how is heat transferred in solid materials? The answer is, Heat is transferred through conduction. When a material is heated, these molecules will vibrate faster. If the molecules absorb more heat, they will vibrate faster. That makes the temperature become higher. When a fast-moving molecule strikes an object, some of its energy is transferred to the other molecules. I think you can now answer our self-learning module. You will answer, what can I do? and assessment on page 9 and 10 of your science module. We are done with our science lesson. You did a great job for today, kids. Tune in for more fun and exciting science lesson live streaming in Valenzuela School of Mathematics and Science. Once again, I am teacher Margie Fernandez. I hope you learned a lot today. Thank you for watching, kids. Don't forget to wear a mask, wash your hands, stay at home, and be safe.